Hello, my name is Chia and I sell stationery with my sister, Lita, and this vlog is probably just gonna be a bunch of random stuff that we've done in the past couple of weeks. I think this was a couple weeks ago, we had a snowstorm, so it's been super cold and snowy, and I've been making social media content like crazy. I've been loving this phone holder thing, and oh yeah, by the way, happy new year everyone. Hope you had a good holiday. I made a real or TikTok about this, but I actually decided not to use a planner this year. And I decided to use our planner pads. And I find that I actually like using these a lot better. They have a section where you can put all your to-dos and then I can just check them off when I'm done. And then there's also a notes section and a tomorrow section for reminders. And I find that this format has actually been working really well for me. This is the rainy day design, by the way and then I can just tear it off when I'm done. They are about 50 pages and the size is like five and a half by eight and a half inches. And I think that what helps is that I can just have it laying on my desk by my computer so I can always see my notes. Unlike with my planner, I had a tendency to keep it closed and so I would just kind of forget about it. But yeah, this seems to be a really popular product uh, with you all. You all seem to love the daily planner pads and so we definitely want to make more. Let me know if you have suggestions for themes or just ideas. Oh yeah, and then another project that we kind of had is just trying to make room for more stuff because as you can see, we've got a lot of stuff. And since we did get new products and things like that in, we decided that we were going to kind of change this area right here and probably maybe move it over to that side maybe. But yeah, we got another shelf and so it's a lot taller like the other shelves we have. So I think I'm probably gonna put it here and just clean up this area a bit. The smaller shelf is probably gonna go here cause I'm just so determined to use up every inch of this room. But yeah, we're probably just gonna tidy up and then kind of see what happens. So as a Christmas present, me and my roommate Jasmine got her cat Genji, this new cat tower. And honestly, he's really been loving it. He's been sitting inside this little cubby thing all day. Okay, so here's the new shelf. Me and my sister are gonna just build it out here in the living room. And then we also got some new bins to go along with it too. It's probably gonna hold a new product. Keep watching because I may or may not put a sneak peek of the new product in this video. Here's Jasmine Quality checking some sticky notes. She's also officially the newest member of Unicorn Eclipse. It's been super helpful and fun having her. Okay, now that that's done, we just need to move all of the bins onto it. These bins are from Uline. They're just the plastic stackable bins and they come in a bunch of different sizes and colors too. We honestly use these for a lot of our products and I like that they stack and they're also pretty durable and so they work for us. So we're just gonna continue to use them. Yeah, as you can see on the shelf on the right, we've used a lot of the bins and so we'll probably kind of set it up similar to that maybe. So like I said, the new product is probably gonna go on this shelf and I'm really curious actually if you have any guesses on what the new product may be. And I'm probably gonna reveal it later in this video, but at least you can guess now and then see if you're right or wrong later. So here's an update. We ended up putting just extra boxes at the top and then a lot of the overstock is just on the shelves right now. But at least they are no longer on the floor. So this is definitely subject to change, but this is where we're at right now. And we are just gonna put the smaller shelf over here. So here we're probably just gonna put our crinkle paper, our labels, maybe some snacks, some extra shipping things. Honestly, I'm just kind of glad that it all kind of worked out and fit where it was supposed to. Okay, so I'm finally deciding to show a sneak peek of the new product. This is a product that we've never ever made before. I've always wanted to and we've definitely gotten a lot of requests to, but 
I am just gonna unbox it now. I'm actually really stoked about these and they actually surprisingly turned out very well. And we actually didn't order that many just because we didn't know how many people would be interested in them. But yes, they are sticker books. Reusable sticker books, I should say. So let me just take one out and I can explain. So this sticker book has our mushroom cauldron design on the front and back. There's our logo on the back and it is spiral bound. And then it's 50 pages and all the sheets are release paper. So this is the same kind of paper that you'd find on the back of sticker sheets or vinyl stickers. And so if you don't know where to put your stickers, this is a perfect place to collect them all and you can put them wherever you want on here and you'll be able to peel them, reuse them again and again. And I don't know about you, but this kind of sticker book is just perfect for me because I oftentimes have a really hard time deciding where I want to put stickers, but I still want to have a place where I can look at them and collect them. The second design is of course our most popular design, the rainy day theme. And then the third design is our sweet afternoon design. I really like this one. It's super cute. And if you love pink, this one's for you. So I figured I should probably kind of show you how to use this, huh? So I just found a bunch of different B grade stickers we had laying around. And so if you've never used a sticker book, I'm just gonna demonstrate. So there you have it. You can easily store all your stickers in here and you'll have a nice place just to collect them and to look at them. I honestly didn't know how many people were gonna be interested in these and so I didn't buy too high of a quantity. If they do really well, I definitely am not against ordering more. There's also no set release date for these yet, so stay tuned on my social medias like Instagram, TikTok, or newsletter. Later that day, we had a ton of quality checking to catch up on, so just enjoy this time lapse. So another big thing that we ended up doing was releasing mystery bags. If you're seeing this, the mystery bag sale is already done, but I still wanted to show the process of it regardless. So if you're new, you might be wondering what exactly are mystery bags. So as a product small business, we tend to sometimes receive products that we just can't sell at full price. So they may be damaged in some way or slightly misprinted or just not up to the quality that we want them to be but they're still perfectly usable and good items and so we usually just bundle a variety of them up into bags and a lot of you really love the mystery bags it's actually one of our best-selling items and so we try to do it a few times a year but yeah we just got done hauling in all this stuff from the garage unit and our closet there's a lot of v-grade items and also just products that we're choosing to discontinue like these washi tapes and this time around we definitely had the most items we've ever had because every time i drop mystery bags they always sell out within minutes i think the longest they lasted 
was maybe around 30 minutes and so I always try to wait and save more and more items so that I'll have more bags the next time. I was also just really glad that we were able to have double the amount of bags that we had last time. I think we had around 400-ish this time around and so they also sold out within three hours so a lot longer than 30 minutes so I was happy that at least more people got to have them. I'm surprised that we managed to make all 400 bags in one day. We kind of just got to work, put a big table in the living room. Me, my sister, my roommate just made a list of items that could go in the bags and then right away just kind of formed an assembly line. So here I'm just showing an example of how I'm putting together one of the bigger mystery bags. Those ones come with an imperfect planner pad and then I just like to try to put a variety of items like notepads, stickers, sticker sheet, magnet, coaster, pencil case, Honestly, whatever it is that we have on hand, I'll just try to include a variety of. Like, I think that was just some leftover note cards we had. We just put them in these paper bags, and then I'm probably going to make some stickers to seal them later. So these were all the bags that we ended up making in one day and thank you so so much for selling us out we're so grateful and we're always going to do more in the future but yeah that about wraps up this vlog i hope you enjoyed it and enjoy this clip of genji